Hey, great friends. It is wash day at my house, so I'm taking out my hair, and I decided to come on and talk to you while I take it out. First of all, happy February, happy Black History Month, and I got a Black History fact for you. Did you know that a woman named Gladys West is responsible for the GPS technology? I didn't know that. That's something I just learned, so I thought I'd share it with you. Yeah, um, I'm taking out my hair, and I haven't talked hair with you for a while. So I decided to come and share some hair things with you. And um, while I do it, I am taking it out. You know what? My hair does not like water. Water on my hair makes it crunchy, makes it dry. And it doesn't do well. And I just sprayed my hair with some water, thinking I would be able to take these plaques out that I've had in for, I don't know how long, probably a couple weeks. And um, that's the truth, y'all. Or maybe a week. Um, and that hair got so tangled, it just would not move. But now I'm putting some um, Tresemme Moisture Rich Conditioner on it and taking it out while I talk to you. Um, I had regular locks, the small ones, finger size for a while. And I was not happy with them. What was happening is um, I started them out with twists. And um, because that's how I can best handle my hair, twisting it. Um, and it grew for about six months. And what was happening was it, um, it was separating. My locks were separating and then I had some locks growing together and I just wasn't happy with the final results. So I used this um, same conditioner and I combed them out. I combed them out and I just had my natural hair. So I started all over. And um, these ends are just tangled, tangled, tangled. And I started all over and all I did was I parted my hair with the comb. And then I took my fingers and parted it. And however the hair clumped, that's how I, that's what I use for the two strands twist. I used that one clump that I had and separated it in half and I two strand twisted that. Now, I shampoo my hair every two weeks. Um, I know people say people with locks should go longer, but I choose to shampoo my hair every two weeks. My scalp needs it. Since I've been here in San Antonio, I have had the worst, the worst itching when I first shampoo my hair. I don't know if it's the products I use. I don't know if it's the water because this water here is pretty hard. Um, it's not fluorinated. It's not chemically treated. So you basically getting well water through your pipes. But um, since I've been here, my scalp has been on fire. I went to the dermatologist a couple of times. She gave me something and um, she gave me a foam and that worked pretty well. But then of course my insurance discontinued it because it was pretty expensive and um meaning about fifty dollars a bottle they canceled that so um i've got something different called um what's it called let me see let me see if i can tell you so i got this from the dermatologist clobetasol Proper, propionate. 
clobetasol propionate, and this is what I got from the um, dermatologist. It works okay, but um, I have to sometimes put tea tree oil on my scalp to take down the burning and itching. Sometimes um, I can just use my um, sulfur 8. And I don't use any products on my hair when I'm um, plaiting it except sulfur 8. And uh, this I've been using for a while. Lock Sanity. Um, what is this? Rose Water and Peppermint. I use this to spray on my hair. I use this to spray on my scalp when, I, when it itches sometimes. Um, I only use this if... I've taken my hair out of the plaits after uh, and gone on an appointment or something. If I'm plaiting back up, I may use that. Um, but I use this all the time. When I shampoo my hair, I use this. In, be in between um, shampoos, I use this. I use this whenever I use this because that keeps my scalp moist. Uh, I brought my shampoos out to show you. This is what I have. I have this in my tub because I shampoo my hair in my tub. I'm an old lady, y'all. And I can't be doing all that moving pieces around. So I have this little um, catch-all that holds my, my shampoos. Of course, I use this to keep my gray as white as possible. And my gray is not white, it's gray. <laughs> so that's okay, but I don't want it to get a yellow cast because what I use mostly for shampooing is the Sulfur A shampoo because it helps my scalp. And you can see this is a yellow color and it does kind of stain your hair after a while, but that's my go-to. Um, sometimes I use this free and clear shampoo because it's clear, because this helps to keep so many chemicals off my scalp and off my hair also. So I use this, um, sometimes too, when I don't have, uh, my sulfur eight, I use that. Um, I do uh do a um detox i guess you call it for my hair this right here is a vino apple cider and vinegar shampoo this stuff right here is the bomb it works i use this um probably once a month to get all of the built up um uh, chemicals off my hair and this works great. I bought a conditioner to go with that. Um, this is the Aveeno uh, Rose Water and Chamomile um, Conditioner. It's okay. I'm not excited about it. It's okay. Um, I use that as a backup to this. My Pantene. This is my Pantene Natural. This is a co-wash and conditioner. I use this all the time. This helps when you have gray hair to keep it um, keep it uh, white or gray. Keep it keep it from getting that brassiness, that yellow on it. I use that all the time. Um, I use that other conditioner if I don't have that. And rarely am, am I without that because I keep bottles of it um, because I know that that's what works for me. Um, as far as products that I use for styling, I told you I use sulfur aid on my scalp and I may spray it with that Loxanity. Um, and that's all I use. I don't use anything else. Um, I used to use. Uh, um, I can't even think of the product. I'll think of it in a minute, but it was a 
uh, over-the-counter product, and you could buy it anywhere. And I used to use it all the time to um, put in my locks, but I don't need that now. Um, this is one lock. So that's how my hair clumps, and that's what I separated in half and made a um, twist out of it. And generally, this is how I wear my hair when I take it out. I do put a um, band on it, a headband on it sometimes, and pull it back off my face sometimes. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Okay. According to how I'm feeling. I do, you see my sides are shaved. I do this myself. I learned how to do it during the pandemic, which we're still in. I learned how to cut my own hair. And, um... You know, some things you just figure out. So I'm going to try to learn how to do my nails because I haven't had my nails done in so long. I'm going to try to learn how to do the uh, acrylic. I've been working on it, but I haven't quite gotten it to perfection for me yet. And there goes the nail. Yeah. So this is my hair. This is what I do with it. I've shown you all my products. Um, I I retwist my hair once a month. I only retwist once a month because my hair is very it's kind of fragile in these days. But I retwist once a month, and the next time I shampoo because I shampoo every two weeks. The next time I shampoo, I just take it and I will um, just plait it. I plait it in four plaits on each side and I'm good. I'm good around the house. Um, there's nobody here but me and I'm usually in a bonnet so plaits work. Um, and you know I'm happy. I'm happy with my hair. I, I'm happy that I don't spend as much time on it as I used to. I'm happy that I found something that works for me. I'm happy that um, my hair is growing. It is thriving. It really is. I take care of it, but I just don't do a lot. And that makes me happy that I don't do a lot and I don't have to do a lot. And it's not, you know, I can spend my time doing other things. Sometimes I don't feel so well, and that takes away my time. And when I'm up and moving, I don't want to spend time, a lot of time on hair. So that's that. That's my hair story for now. And as always, I love you, and God bless.